Hey everyone, my name is Mrs. Lambert and I'm an elementary teacher turned stay at home mom. And when I heard about all the school closures due to COVID-19, I figured parents would be scrambling to come up with ways to keep their kids engaged academically, but also having fun. Uh, so I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite family math games and activities um, that are not only fun, but promote math and family bonding. They are easy to learn and only use materials that you can find around your house. Um, I'm also going to be sharing some suggestions on how to modify the activities to match the level of your child. So let's get started. Um, the first game that I wanted to teach you is called Turnover 10. And what you'll need is a standard deck of playing cards. And you're going to remove some of the cards though. So uh, get rid of all the jokers. Don't need those. Get rid of all the jacks. You won't need those either and get rid of all the kings. You are going to keep the aces. Those are going to act as ones in your deck. And you're also going to keep all the queens. This is the tricky part. The queens are gonna be your zeros. So the Q kind of looks like a zero to help you remember. The rest of the cards are going to be the value of the number on the deck. So to get started, um, you are going to set out four rows of five. Quick math, how many cards? If you answered 20, you are right. Um, the rest of your cards are gonna go face down in a draw pile. And you can play this game either in pairs or in a small group. Um, and you're gonna take turns. As you've probably guessed from the name of the game, turn over 10, you are going to be adding cards together to make 10. Um, so the first person goes first and turns over two cards. So I will flip over these two cards. Um, I have a four and a two. So I will add those together. Four plus two equals six. Six is less than 10. So I get to flip over another card. Let's do this one right here. It is another four. So now we add all the cards together. So four plus two equals six, plus four more equals 10. So now I get to keep those cards. So I'm gonna pull these cards out and I'm gonna set them aside onto my keep pile. And I will use the draw pile to fill in all those empty spots now. Because I made a 10, it's still my turn and I get to play again. So let's see, what do I want to turn this time? Flip this card. Ooh, it's a nine. That's a pretty high number. What do I need to flip over to make a 10? If you said one, you are looking for the card that I'm looking for. Let me see. Ooh, a queen. Remember, queens are zeros. So nine plus zero is nine. I'm still less than 10, so I can flip over another card. So nine plus zero is nine, plus five more is 14. That's too many. That's 14 is more than 10. So unfortunately, I end my turn here and I flip these cards back over. And now it would be the next person's turn to play. So let's see, now I'm the next player and I'm gonna flip over this card, an ace. Remember in this game, an ace is a one. So, hmm, one plus nine equals 10. Remember, there was a nine somewhere on the board. If you've got a good memory, you can use that to help you find the cards that you need to make your tens. I think it was this one. Hey, one plus nine equals 10. So I would get to keep these cards and put them in my keep file and fill in the playing board. Because I got a 10, it would be my turn again. Play continues like this um, until the whole draw pile is gone and there are no more ways to make 10 using the cards on the table. Um, and then once all the, card, or all the cards are used up, 
the players would count how many sets of 10 they have in their keep piles, and whoever has the most 10 wins the game. One way to take it a step further academically is to have your child write down all the math equations that um, they had using the cards they had. So for my example, I had two plus four plus four equals 10, and I could write that out. Um, in this example, it'd be one plus nine equals 10. That's the game, pretty simple, pretty fun. I've got some ideas for making the game a little bit easier if you think it's difficult for your kids. The first thing is if you think it's too hard for your child to keep track of a queen as a zero, just get rid of them in the deck. If you get rid of the queens, also be sure to get rid of the tens because they're sort of matched together. Another way to make this game easier is instead of continuously adding cards together to get 10, just look for pairs that equal 10. So a one and a nine equals 10, seven and three equals 10. Um, this way, kids only keep track of two numbers. Finally, the easiest way to play this game is just like memory. So you're not gonna need all the cards. Just um, pull out two of each of aces through nines and set all the cards on the table in front of you. That way you're not drawing more cards or replacing anything on the board. The board stays the same throughout the game. Um, and then you can either look for pairs of cards that make 10 to practice making those tens with your child, or if that's still too difficult, um, just look for pairs of cards that match. Look, so if they find a three and a three, they would match together, or a five and a five, they would match together. So it's very versatile um, on making the game easier. If you have an older child, Sometimes it is fun to just play a simple game and practice those quick addition facts, but if they do want a bit more of a challenge, have them pick a number that's higher um, instead of 10 to add to. Maybe they want to add up numbers until 19. How does that change the game? Does it make it easier, harder? Do you have to pull more cards? Um, have them explore with different numbers and see how the game changes. Um, so thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like games like this and want me um, to make more videos, please let me know as well. Um, I hope you have fun playing games with your kid and reviewing math while you are stuck inside. Hopefully everyone is staying happy and healthy. See you next time.